DC movies without the involvement of one Zachary Edward Snyder. Wonder Woman, classic. Aquaman, honestly pretty mediocre, but it was still kind of enjoyable because of how ridiculous it was. Shazam, great. Joker, yikes. Birds of Prey, special. Special. I am finally excited about DC comic book movies again. I never thought this day would come. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn is now out in theaters, and it is actually very good. This movie is special. Guys, I don't know any other way to describe it. This is a comic book movie unlike anything that you have ever seen. Now, Birds of Prey, for those of you that are DC Comics fans, you know that that is the name of an all-female superhero team. This movie takes place, unfortunately, after the events of the terrible Suicide Squad when Harley Quinn has broken up with the Joker and she has to deal with the fallout of said breakup. Now, that said, Birds of Prey is more about getting the team together rather than the team being in action. You don't get a lot of screen time with the entire team together. But like I said, this is Harley's movie, and as a Harley Quinn movie, this is absolutely fantastic. Because let me tell you something, Margot Robbie was born to play Harley Quinn. Much in the way people say that Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool, Margot Robbie is Harley Quinn. She was born to play this role, and she absolutely crushes it here in this movie. I mean, she just completely knocks it out of the park, perfectly walking the line of Harley Quinn's character. She makes her endearing, but also a little bit of annoying, empathetic, but also a little bit crazy, it's just what you would expect from Harley Quinn. Now the movie itself is highly, highly unique and that is thanks to the newcomer director Kathy Yan, who turns out to be one hell of an action director. But make no mistake, this movie is just well directed in general. Kathy Yan infuses this movie with so much passion and creativity that Birds of Prey is honestly unlike anything you've ever seen. This feels like a comic book movie that was made over the weekend by a group of people that were just fans of the source material and wanted to make a movie about it. And that is probably one of the best things about this movie is that I can feel the passion oozing in every single frame from the glitter bomb punk aesthetic right down to the blocking and the performances this movie is just absolutely gorgeous in terms of its filmmaking prowess. This movie has so much skill behind it and to not acknowledge that I think is really a disservice to Kathy Ann and screenwriter Christina Hodson. Now, let's talk about Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor as Black Mask. What a performance. What a performance. This man blew me away as Roman Sionis slash Black Mask, hands down my favorite DC villain on the big screen since Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. Honestly, he might even be the best DC villain since Heath Ledger's Joker. He is that good. Every single time he is on screen, he steals the show. He is just chewing the scenery. He's having so much fun with the character, and I love the reinvention of Black Mask here. Which, by the way, if the fact that Black Mask is gay in this movie bothers you, seriously, if that honestly bothers you, stop and just go watch some Neckbeards review where they trash the movie. I'm sure there are plenty of them. But Black Mask here is just absolutely perfect. Every time he is on screen, you can't help but give the movie your undivided attention, and that is because Ewan McGregor is so damn good. Like, I cannot stop thinking about his performance as Black Mask. It stayed with me. He's having so much fun. He makes Black Mask kind of silly 
and funny when he needs to be, and then at the snap of a finger, he makes Black Mask menacing, chilling, and just overall evil. It's exactly what it needs to be. And is Black Mask as complex or sympathetic as other recent comic book villains we've got, such as Thanos? No, but he doesn't need to be. We have just enough of his motivation and his backstory to understand his character, and that, along with Ewan McGregor's performance and the screenplay, makes this unbelievable. If it wasn't for Margot Robbie being as good as she is, Black Mask would have stole this movie for me. He almost did, in fact, and that's with Margot Robbie in the movie, so that should be a testament to how good Ewan McGregor is. Nothing I say or write about Ewan McGregor's performance will do it justice, because you need to see it for yourself. It is so good. It's unbelievable. Had so much fun with the character. I want to watch the movie five more times just for him. Look, okay, it's a good screenplay. But this movie does have one flaw in terms of how it's plotted and its overall narrative, and that is the movie is very, very front-loaded. And what I mean by that is because of the structure of the narrative in Birds of Prey, the movie constantly calls for it to stop in the middle of the second act and rewind to the beginning of the film in order to introduce a new character, and it's usually a member of the team, and then we go back to the present after meeting the new character and the movie does this a few times and it can kind of be a little bit jarring on a first viewing and I have to admit that I wasn't crazy about that decision but I also kind of understand it from a standpoint in the sense that Harley Quinn narrates the film and she kind of serves as the film's Deadpool, for lack of a better word. There are several winks at the camera. She breaks the fourth wall. So I maybe understand why that decision was made in terms of Harley narrating her own story, but I also think there would have been a much, much cleaner way to deliver this narrative. That said, the movie still overcomes this flaw because of how good it actually is in terms of its characterizations. You have newcomers like Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who gets to play a new iteration of Huntress, who she looks like she's having a great time, and she does a great job. By far, I think, the most interesting member of the Birds of Prey, apart from Harley herself. You have Journey Smollett Bell as Dinah Lance slash Black Canary, who, again, does a great job. Friday Night Lights fans will remember her from the show. So, we're aware of her talents, and now hopefully the mainstream is too. And then you also have Rosie Perez as Renee Montoya, who, I'll be honest, was not the first person I thought of when they announced that she was going to be in the movie, but this was really smart casting here, and she stands out because she allows herself to be a more nuanced and mature character against a cast of much younger women. And given how important Renee Montoya becomes in the larger Batman mythology. I hope that she signed on for a multi-picture deal. So, the new cast is great. Margot Robbie is great. Ewan McGregor is sensational. The action is phenomenal. The action here, I gotta say, Kathy Ann really, really did a great job with the action. She knows just when to go for the long take, when to take a hard cut, or when to use slow motion and how to use it appropriately. She doesn't use it in a way that feels gratuitous or excessive. This movie contains the best baseball bat action scene I've ever seen. Admittedly, there is a lot more action in this movie than I thought there was going to be, but thanks to the interesting production design and the setting, the action never feels redundant or dull. You never really get tired of it because the setting is always interesting, it's engaging, and the choreography is great. Especially the final action scene. It's set in a very, very appropriate setting for, let's say, Harley Quinn. It's very appropriate, very fitting. It feels very much like the Gotham City from Batman the Animated Series, and I gotta say, that is a nice nod. So... 
The direction is great, the performances are great, the screenplay is good. Like I said, it is a little front-loaded, but you know what? That's not enough to knock this movie down. But this movie is just beautiful from top to bottom. The cinematography, the blocking, the production design. This movie is so colorful, yet it has a bit of a dark edge, just like Harley Quinn herself. It is without a doubt the most visually interesting DC movie since uh, Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. I think it is probably the best DC movie since Wonder Woman. And honestly, I am finally excited about DC comic book movies again because like I said, this movie is unique. It feels like it was made by a filmmaker. And this movie has an important story to tell. I think the themes of this movie will resonate strongly with those who watch it because I think this movie is very effective at saying what it wants to say despite it being called Birds of Prey, it is a Harley Quinn movie. And at the heart of this movie is Harley Quinn after she has broken up with the Joker and that was a very toxic relationship if you are familiar with the comics or the animated series. And I think in this movie Harley Quinn is a very good representation of a woman who was emotionally traumatized into believing that she was nothing. She had no worth. She wasn't anything without her man, but she grew. She grew as a human being. She rose above it. She was able to cope with her trauma and learn that she has value, she has worth, and that she herself is enough. I think Birds of Prey does a good job of telling this story and sending this message. And you know what? For those of you that are worried that it is feminist propaganda. It is not. I don't even know why you're worried about that because DC does this so well just like they did in Wonder Woman. They make their female characters feel like actual people and I like this movie so much. I don't know what else to say. This feels so creative. It's fresh. I am excited for DC comic book movies again. The one thing I will say about this movie is you do feel the giant Batman-sized void in the universe, but that's okay because next year we will be getting the best big screen adaptation of Batman we have ever seen. So, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn is fantabulous. Go watch it. I highly recommend this movie to everybody. If you're a DC comic fan, you're going to love it. If you're a Batman fan, you're going to love it. If you're a fan of good movies, you're going to love it. If you're a fan of fun, thrilling, exciting blockbusters, you're going to love it. Because this is a blockbuster. This was a hell of a way to kick off the year for the blockbusters. It has a couple of plotting issues and a little bit messy with its narrative. But again, Margot Robbie is an absolute star as Harley Quinn. Ewan McGregor is Black Mask, best DC villain in almost a decade. And I cannot stress that enough. This movie is well worth your time. It's beautiful. Go watch it. May your heart be your guiding key. I will see you next time. And welcome to the film reviews of 2020. Goodbye.